Hey guys, it's Fossil Tech here with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own custom skins uh, for CSGO. I'm going to be using an op here. So let's get started simply off. Make sure to like and subscribe. And all you need to do is download the RAR file below just to extract it and you're going to get three something like this. And the extra software that you'll be needing is VTF Edit. Uh, you can download that below in the description too. So first of all, all you need to do once you get that RAR file extracted and open the op OBJ file. You're going to use this. Uh, I already have opened it up. So even if you come inside, you're gonna see this op flip it up. So all you need to do is to click on it like this, and then use the rotation axis to rotate it around like that. Cause we need it straight, and let's get it like this. And you can still modify the uh, light source where it's coming from. And so here's our op, but you cannot merely identify the faces. So here's the metal we need, and just simply go to diffuse metal. Uh, we can simply go and file, click open. Let's select the op targa file. Uh, it's the you see it's the skin of the op. And first of all, we need to modify the skin. Simply go to layer. And the first thing we need to do is to create a new layer. That's all you need to do for uh, messing up with the background. So you need not to unlock the server That can cause me a problem. So in case you in mind, you see that it's a bit dark. So I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer, and that's gonna be brightness contrast. I'm gonna complete the brightness to 150 percent. That's gonna see it completely off. So. I'm gonna be deleting this afterwards when I'm not in use of that. So simply click on the new layer, and if you wanna identify which cases or parts of these, I'm gonna select this to right. Just simply open the op PSD, and then you're gonna see the complete model of op. I'm gonna get the source right here, here, and I'm gonna increase the intensity. Most you know that this is a pretty much small picture, so I'm gonna increase the size. Just simply go to image size. And let's make it pixels and let's see 1920 Oh yeah, that's good. So let's zoom in. And here you're gonna see that. So probably I think that these two are this one. I mean, for real, uh, that doesn't. So that means, yeah, these two are the pieces of the center board, this one. And here's our scope. And this one's our barrel. And there's the butt of the gun. You want to see it. So one more we can identify is that these two four holes are off. This one probably. We can make make changes to that. So let's find out what we can do. Uh, the things that you can remember mess around is to color up these things. Whatever you do here will be shown out there. So in case if you just want to see them, change change the brush and increase the size. And for example, if I change the brush to the blue one here. And if I color it out like this or so, just for see, I'm gonna not gonna save it. I'm gonna go to File, Save As, and simply go and save it as Targa and make it test. And let's save it. And let's go back to Op. And all you need to do is go to 3D layer, make it material 72. And go to Diffuse and click on Replace Texture and Subdivide so Text. And that's what you're gonna see. So let's see where we made the change. Let's go to back to V, move to, and here it is. You see that the change we made is showing out here. So I didn't made it on the both sides. So all you need to do is to go back to layers and do the editing you want. And it's up to you. So I'm gonna come back when it's done. So I colored it up like and so, and that looking a bit rubbish. So <laughs> I just merely colored it up so quick that I can show you guys how it did it. So I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna increase the opacity back to 100% in case I just change it out or you can see how that looks like. So I colored it all the same you can do. Uh, you can even paste logos on that. Uh, I'm gonna use the Targa and save it the same as test and save as and click OK. And now let's apply it to the skin. Simply go to 3D, select material 70, the upper one. Do not select this one, that's the color of the lenses. Uh, I'm gonna go diffuse, replace texture and go back to test. And once we do that, the op is completely changed. And you see a bit mine is also uh, getting out of it. So that's why that might have come here and... But yeah, that's looking pretty much cool. So don't worry about, uh, you see like this. Even to more, you can even color out the portions like this one. And how you can do that is to use the pen tool. And use the pen tool. So that was for guys today. Thanks for watching. It's all on Fuzzy Day and I'm sending out.